welcome to uh, our party. We've got balloons and we've got bunting because we are launching our second cookbook. And it's written by Henry Dimbleby and John Vincent. The, the second book, Naturally Fast Food, is very simple. It's about creating really delicious recipes within 20 minutes. No recipe has more than 10 ingredients. No recipe has more than six steps. So you can throw together fantastic, tasty fast food that does you good. We had this idea. Imagine you die, you go to heaven, and Michelangelo says, look, I'll, I'll give you a quick art lesson, and you have your quick art lesson. Uh, and then he says, should we grab some fast food? And we thought, okay, what would that place be like? So obviously the ingredients, the flavours, what's good for you, uh, how tasty it is, the type of people that serve you and the environment itself. So that was an idea that carried us through the development of Lean. And we felt that we needed to do a book which really brought that home to people so that they could experience that in their everyday lives. This chest of drawers and I met five years ago uh, and I, at an auction house in Islington. I took my daughter, Natasha, who was then probably five years old herself, and my daughter, in that classic kind of way, kept putting her hand up at the wrong moment. And one of the things that we ended up with was this lovely uh, chest of drawers. And uh, this sat at the top of the stairs in our Luggate Circus restaurant. Um, we were sitting next to the drawer one day and idly opened one of the drawers and in it were a whole load of wishes. Uh, just crazy things. Um, I wish I could write my first novel. I wish cheese didn't make you fat. Uh, and people had obviously over time put more and more wishes, seen that other people had put wishes in and put more wishes of their own in and this thing had built. And it was, it was, it's, you know, it was quite moving. So when we came to do the book, we, put, we wanted to put a few things in it that, that kind of talked about what the spirit of Leon was. And the draw of wishes seemed to do very much that. Leon is a place where people can escape from themselves, can dream about better things. And so we thought it'd be nice to put it in the book. Uh, and then when we came to do the party, we thought, well, we put this thing in the book, we've used it in the book, let's give something back. And we decided to grant some of these wishes at the party. is Samira Khan. Samira Khan, come on. My wish is for my family and friends to join an autumn barn dance. You read the rest, come on, it'll be more emotional. With cream teas, warm cider, lashings of food and bunting, masses of bunting. So two things, we are going to grant your wish of an autumn barn dance with cream teas, warm cider, and that's the food. All of the bunting that Benny O has made inside, we're going to donate masses of bunting. So thank you very much for playing. That's so cool. Thank you, thank you. Kiss Henry. Ella, Ella. Uh, wanted a giant Leon chocolate brownie for her sister's birthday and say thank you for being the best wheat-free sympathizer in the land. Congratulations. That's really greedy. No, you're greedy. <laughs> What's the name of Oh, is he okay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Eleanor. So many of the wishes resonated with me because the ability to have enough space in one's life to spend time with family, spend time with friends, eat some nice food, I think are the most fundamental things that people want. And, I, and those are feelings that I echo, and they are probably the reasons that we wanted to start Leon in the first place and didn't do your insurance idea. And uh, <laughs> that's a toast. Anise, Anise Iqbal, do we have Anise? Yeah. Come up, come up. I wish I could have an amazing cake for my wedding next year. So, um, we have actually been helped out with this one by a company called Chocky Wocky Doodle. Oh, brilliant. Who make uh, Gatto de Wedding. Oh, brilliant. This is French. Oh, fabulous, thank you. Is your fiancé here? He is, yeah, he's at the back. Where is he? He's at the back. What's your fiancé's name? Matthew. Matthew. A lot of the book was me cooking stuff for John, and a lot of Leon, actually, is us cooking for John and him eating it. <laughs> well, I realised that no one's going, so I thought, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer wanted to... Um, have a camping trip for five 
with all that's needed to make a healthy feast to the great outdoors. Mark, come up. It's not quite camping, but Mark, maybe you want to describe exactly what it is. Uh, Featherdown Farms are luxury camping in uh, farms with an area of outstanding natural beauty, and we were very pleased to be invited to come here and help you out and fulfil your wish. It's, it's, it's kind of like laying offerings before some kind of uh, deity. deity. We cook things, uh, we bring them to John, we lay them in front of him, and with great solemnity he eats them, and then we wait for him to say, yes! <laughs>